excitement anymore like every day is the exact same with nothing to look forward to dude welcome to marriage my man routine 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 ladies that's the secret to a happy marriage i'm so unhappy girl it's like you're glowing okay i need to find me somebody like corey i didn't find him like that it took a lot of patience to get him where he's at now girl it sounds like you're training a dog exactly <laughs> <laughs> Girl, all these men are dogs. Okay, you just gotta find one that's willing to be trained. Hey, you so unhappy, bro. Why are you sticking around? Isn't that my job as a husband? To make sure my wife is happy? That's the most beautiful thing you've ever said, man. Come over here and give me a hug. There's nothing beautiful about what he said, Tom. He's clearly miserable. You're miserable. Listen to me, man. Marriage is a beautiful thing, okay? And look at me, I am your happiest friend. You can trust me. It gets better and better every single day. Think of it this way, okay? It's not like the Cosby show. You're gonna need to take a quaalude or two to be able to get through it, you know? Listen to me, bro. If you're unhappy, you gotta say something. You don't wanna end up like Tom, 15 years into a miserable relationship that he's clearly unhappy in. He drinks every day. That is not true. Tom does not drink every day, and Tom is also right here. You take five different medications for stress. What else you got? Because those are prescribed by my doctor. His dick don't work no more. Jeez, why don't you just tell the whole damn gym, Jalen? Hey, everybody, I don't know if you guys actually heard this or not. My dick doesn't work anymore. And guess what? I'm also paying for couples counseling, and I bought a subscription to Cinemax, and it's still not good enough for my wife. There, I took your bullets out. See what I'm saying? You don't want to end up like that. It's your birthday, Corey. Matter of fact, when we're done here, man, go home, clean up. We're going out for drinks tonight, all right? Man, you guys are dicks. I'm going to go over here and work on my legs. How is that working on your marriage, bro? Because I'm improving my stroke? You guys are over there working on the wrong things, man. That's why you're having problems in your marriage. I mean, look at this. My wife, she's from Maine, but I'm gonna have her speak in Spanish before you know it. Look at that. I'm gonna have her eyes rolled back in the back of her head. It's gonna be like that movie, The Exorcist. Well, ladies, this glow might actually be from something else. What you mean? I'm pregnant. Oh my oh gosh! My girl, I know how long you've been trying. Have you told Corey? Not yet. I'm gonna sell him tonight. Congratulations. Oh my god. Can we hug or like or is he is it dangerous? <laughs> 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 Oh, wow, I'm really surprised. Thank you guys. This is, this is great. Um, we need to talk. Okay, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, just real quick. Just, we'll be right back. Okay. All right, hey, you guys drink, turn up. We'll, we'll be right back. Baby, what's wrong? You seem so tense. I don't know how to say this. Say what? Baby, just say it. I'm not happy. You're not happy. So, how did you meet Corey? He didn't tell you the story? Mm -hmm. So, I actually, I, I played football with him. Oh. Uh-huh. You, you was playing football. Yeah, yeah, well. What, like, what role? I don't even know what it's called. What, what were you? I was actually third string oh, okay. punter, actually. Okay. See, what happened was, I started out as the equipment manager. Uh-huh. 
Um, most guys on the team start out as the equipment manager. Mm. And you gotta work your way up. You know, football, a lot of people, they just see people on TV. It's all about networking. I just feel like when we got married, I lost a big part of who I am. Um, wow. I had no idea that you felt this way. I mean, I'm not able to do my writing, my poetry. Poetry? I thought we discussed that your poetry was a, a big distraction from making you more productive. But it makes me happy, Monica. It does? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, girl, look like you almost on E. Let me fill you up. I'm good, Jalen. I don't need that. I'm just trying to get you relaxed, girl. You look uptight. You need a massage? I'm fine. <sighs> you need your massage. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm certified. Oh my god. Hey girl, why you walking away with them? Oh, with them liquid jeans on, doing it to me right. Damn. So, how do you and Monica know oh, each other? You know what? It was it was a crazy situation. Mm -hmm. We were at the clinic, and I don't know. I just had a feeling about her. You know, she got the pretty ass eyes. So I was like, why is she so pretty? What's she doing in the clinic? Like, it makes sense that I'm in the clinic, but why is she in here? She looks normal. So I started having a conversation with her, and she, you know, told me what was going on. It was just chlamydia. She ain't give him. Nothing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, don't worry about your friend. But I had the, the stuff that sticks. Listen, I'm willing to work on our marriage. We can talk, we can go to counseling, whatever it takes. I just wish you knew what it felt like to be me. Didn't you have something you wanted to tell me earlier? Oh, um, yeah, uh, we can wait till tomorrow. Today is all about you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go see what this other guy is. Happy birthday!